And developing tonight, a hospital in Albany, Georgia, that's just outside our viewing area. Yep. They say a patient there is being treated for a presumptively positive case of coronavirus. It's news like this and other cases that have people concerned about heading to the polls for the primary. That's right. ABC 27 Chantel Navarro checked in with the Lowndes County Elections Office to see what's being done to keep you protected from the coronavirus. Yeah, here in Lowndes County, the supervisor of elections says that she's taking a bit more precautions than she would any other flu season. But for the most part, it's business as usual. And as far as the voters go, it doesn't really look like the coronavirus is stopping people from coming out either. There was a steady flow today. The office says it's doing a lot of common sense precautions, like wiping down all surfaces and computers on a daily basis. If a poll worker is sick or showing any kind of symptoms, they are immediately sent home to avoid putting other people at risk. Supervisor of Elections Deb Cox tells me she believes all the basics will be enough to keep people healthy. She also says that with the steps in place, people don't have anything to worry about. When you have hundreds and sometimes thousands of people coming through a day, it's kind of difficult to do that. Um, but it hasn't been a problem in the fa past, and it doesn't look like this virus is going to be a problem now, actually. Uh, most of the problem is caused by people's reactions, not the COVID-19 itself. Cox says if it becomes necessary later on, they will do more. But at this time, she doesn't feel that it is necessary. And if you still want to vote early, there is time. Polling sites tonight close at 7 p.m. And early voting closes March 20th. That's next Friday. In Valdosta, Chantal Navarro, ABC 27.